Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by Vanessa Riley from the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. It's so good to spend some time with you. It's good to be here, thank you. So um, the Out of the Darkness Walk is coming up. It is. And this is the 11th year. The 11th year for the Hilton Head Bluffton Walk, yes. Oh my gosh, yeah, but overall, how long overall, has it been Overall, it might be the 16th, well, 16th year for South Carolina. Columbia had one a few years before, so. And you know, I always find that it, it's just staggering and horrifying and heartbreaking to see who is involved in in a walk like this. Even when you just go to support, you know, just to take part in it, it's a great cause. And you look around, you're like, oh my gosh, I know a lot of these people. Yes, you would know a lot of them. It's true. Yeah, it affects many of us. So it's all about prevention, prevention, prevention. Yes, prevention, 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 but postvention too. We also offer programs for people that have lost uh, a loved one. I mean, yeah. Like that that's you know what how do you how do you navigate that I mean and you have a, a personal story why you're involved I do um, in uh, 1998 we lost our nephew he was 16 and as my brother's son and then in 2006 we lost our own son to suicide oh, so my word. Um, I guess it made me realize I had to sink or swim and I wasn't going to lose another family member so I got very involved after a few years uh-huh and um or yourself you know yeah. what i mean like from a standpoint of you can take that brokenness or my, my experience with you know with other uh, horrible traumatic things you know to become of service in that department in some way really brings healing internally it, it does yeah. you know nothing will bring back our no. son but yeah. but you're right it does you feel like you're paying it forward you've got to help someone else right you know it's uh, always hard to see another family go through this so. absolutely what do you say to someone who is who is experiencing this or what do you i mean it's it i just i recently experienced you know and wanted to be of of support and and had no idea what to say well i think just a hug although we can't really hug in the pandemic but right. just a hug and tell them you care and, and i think the most important thing is to don't just go to the funeral and give them a ham or whatever be there for them because it's not a it's not a week it journey. It, it goes on the rest of their lives. Exactly. I have a really uh, good neighbor who just every month would stick something in my mailbox, like oh. a little statue or a little angel wings or something or a little card. And it just made me realize that she really cared and she knew that it wasn't going to end. I think that's a great idea that, you know, just like a monthly or just weird, you know, yeah, random, random times, times instead mm -hmm. of just like on the anniversary. Yep, of, here I am, yeah. you know, I'm here yeah, yeah. for the funeral. And mm -hmm. it, because it, honestly, during a funeral, you're in such a fog, you don't even know who's there yeah. or care really. And having those like quiet moments in between. All right, so let's talk about the okay. walk, how yes. we support, and you guys have great programs. You go to the website, you can sign up for classes free of charge. Right. So we need to get out there and support this and it's not gonna be in person this year. Right, unfortunately, what do we do? it's, what do we it's do? virtual. Well, you have to first register okay. at afsp.org slash Hilton Head, okay. one word. And once you register, then you'll get a, a link for our virtual program, which will be statewide this year. We have nine community walks in the state, but we're going to have one virtual program. Okay. And we'll recognize all the different communities and all the different sponsors that we've had. And uh, then after our little 45-minute program, we're going to ask everyone to go out in their community, at their park, their street, wherever they feel safe and comfortable mm -hmm. to walk and send us pictures. Oh, I love that. And we'll that. hashtag them at OOTDSC on social media. So we'll get all the pictures and we'll combine them and have a good time putting them all together. I love that. So what's the goal? What do we need to raise in terms of funds? We need to raise... Our goal for the Hilton Head Bluffton Walk Has was... Has there been an influx with the whole, you know, of, of, the, of need for mental wellness? Yes, there's been a huge need for it. Uh, there's a big rise in depression, anxiety. Yeah. People that didn't have an anxiety or depression before have it now. Right. Uh, so, yeah, there's a huge, huge need for it. Um, we set our goal at 40000 We're right. only at about eleven, So we have a long way to go. But we do and fundraise till the... 31st of December. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. And yes. we can get started now? Like, when's yes. the official event take place? You, It's uh, this Sunday. Okay. This Sunday, November 8th okay. at 2 o'clock. Not so, to miss. 
-hmm. Absolutely not. Please, Denise, let's please. get in there and let's let's get these donations going. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, you're Ameri welcome. American Foundation. Of suicide prevention. Correct. <laughs> American Foundation yep. of Suicide Prevention. You got it. Vanessa Riley, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much Listen. for having me. And and I hope that people will donate and yeah. register. And we've got to have these programs that are so important. So important. Vital. Absolutely vital. Yes. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.